So welcome to another one of our shipping videos. It's uh, it's great to be back here and do another one. It doesn't seem like more than two days since the last one we did, but it's been a full week. And, uh, and thanks for watching along. We get uh, a lot of people that watch week after week and I had a visitor here just yesterday and he was telling me just how much he enjoys watching the shipping videos every week and uses it as a, as a way to kind of catch up with what we're doing. Um, so it's, it's really, really great that you guys connect with it and we enjoy doing it. And the shipping video is just that time where we get to look at all the different guitars that are going out. Uh, I always get surprised by different combinations that people have chosen. Um, so it's kind of an inspiring time really. And, uh, and we've got 13 guitars on the rack here today. Uh, there's 15 also that have gone out of our um, stock that are on the screen here that we're going to go through as well. And uh, yeah, some really nice choices this week. Also should say that uh, the t-shirt I'm wearing today is from Davy K. And uh, Davy K, if you uh, follow our content, I'm sure you've seen these videos. Uh, we're very proud to have uh, Davy working on our team, as we are, you know, so many other musicians. We're really blessed that we build guitars, but we also have musicians that are working on the team that, uh, that help make the guitars, and in Davy's case, sell the guitars. And uh, it just really adds to the atmosphere. It's good to be surrounded by people who really engage with what we're building. Um, so, uh, so if you haven't watched Davy K's music, please go and do that. Um, Davy has, uh, has got some really good stuff up there on YouTube. Um, so uh, first thing we've got this week is an amicus. So this one's going out to Robert in Norway and a beautiful little amicus or a little short scale 12 string. And these have been really popular lately. Uh, I've been quite a few of them have been selling and rightly so because it's just such a great sounding instrument. And just adds to anybody's collection because it just gives you a different sound but at the same time it's very playable and uh, very easy to adapt to for a guitar player. Um, so this one is finished in the vibrant amber and uh, has the gold dots which is a really nice add-on here on the amicus and, uh, and the gold hardware, uh, those beautiful gold Goto 510s that, uh, that just look great and function great. I just love, I think what really attracted me to the Goto 510s originally was, uh, was just the flowing lines. I just, I like things to be very organic and smooth and curved and uh, I just, I love the shape of the buttons. Uh, I think everything just blends so nicely together. They're definitely, in my mind, um, the, the best tuners, uh, best value for money that you can get out there. So the next one we've got going is uh, Patrick in Arizona. And um, he's gone for one of our uh, Synergy X7 um, harp guitars. And we haven't really done all that many harp guitars recently. We're trying to reignite that. I suppose some of our other guitars maybe have taken our focus and, uh, and we haven't done so much in the harp guitar world, but our harp guitars are a fantastic thing. They're just something that's really different and unique. Uh, we love building them because they're um, just such an unusual shape. I think they're, they speak of everything that we are, you know, very customized, but also uh, very inspiring to play and the music that's played on them. And uh, I think carbon fiber is definitely the best way to build a harp guitar because it just handles that complex shape so well. Uh, handles all the tension on the top and, uh, and you can create really nice ergonomics. So this is our short scale, uh, 24 inch scale, smaller body harp guitar. Um, so really nice and compact and easy to play. And uh, in this case, it's got a, a beautiful uh, Bubinga top, um, or Kawazinga as we, we call it. It's sort of one name that kind of goes across both, um, or both names that goes across one species. And uh, beautiful wood, it's got a lot of different colors in it. It's quite subtle, but whenever you look in, start to look at the detail. It's uh, got the browns, the lighter browns. It's got almost like these little veins of reds and pinks running through it. And uh, uh, yeah, just really nice piece. Um, some nice quilting running up the neck as well. Um, this one has got the white dots on the neck. It's uh, got amber back and sides. And uh, the adjustable bridges that we use here on, the, on our harp guitars now. And I think this has been a fantastic add-on for the harp guitar. It's a difficult instrument to amplify and get really good string separation. You get a lot of bleed from uh, side to side on these uh, normally, but we found that this pickup system just gives us great definition and separation. Um, we've got uh, double volume controls here to control the volume on both sides. Um, it's also a, a stereo and mono pickup system, so you can use mono or stereo and split these two. And, uh, and that can be cool, so you can you know, do something entirely different with the, the subs if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, a really cool pickup system on, uh, on a harp guitar. 
so then we've got uh, Michael in New Brunswick and this is the first of four of our virtual guitars and uh, so the virtual as you see every week there's uh, always a good collection of virtuals it's been very popular became our, our best-selling guitar very quickly and I'm very proud of it um, it's the versatility of this instrument that just makes it so special it's, uh, it's the fact that you have the humbuckers here uh, you have the piezos uh, you have the um, the MIDI connectivity, you can blend them all together on board here. It's just very, very simple and very user-friendly to be able to blend these sounds together. And, uh, and all coming out of an acoustic instrument. So, um, so you have solid body instruments that maybe have uh, MIDI and uh, piezo capability and that sort of thing, but it's quite unique uh, coming out of an acoustic instrument. And uh, it just really gives so much versatility from being a, a real hardcore electric guitar right into uh, a beautiful acoustic sound as well. So nice to have all those different combinations that uh, can come out of one instrument and really creatively being able to blend those tones together, adding um, you know, your humbuckers to your piezo. Uh, you can split these uh, to make them single coils. You can give a, a modern humbucker sound, uh, various different tones that you can get out of the humbuckers. So whenever you start to blend all those things together, never mind adding in all the MIDI capabilities, really you can do an awful lot with this guitar. So uh, this one's going to Michael, New Brunswick, and uh, it's green carbon, black hardware. Uh, it's a beautiful emerald guitar. Now, Thomas in Montana. Uh, Thomas has also gone for Virtue, and uh, this one's finished in Candy Stripe Paduk. Uh, black hardware and uh, vibrant amber back and sides. And, um, yeah, I think that's a good combination. That amber on the back and sides really matches nicely with the lighter colored sections of the wood. Uh, and then that bright reds that come through on the, on the candy stripe. Then we've got one going out to my good friend, John T in, uh, in Derry. So he's not far away from here. Uh, so I just might hand deliver this one myself. Um, so, uh, so John T had a couple of other guitars also uh, finished in, uh, in Paul Farrell and uh, we got this beautiful piece of Paul Ferro, put it on there for him, um, give him the, the Celtic vines running up the, the neck, and uh, back and sides. We decided to go with the uh, vibrant red on the back and sides. So it uh, really contrasts beautifully with the top, and I think that guitar just pops beautifully. Black hardware, black tuners. So uh, look forward to seeing you play this one. Um, we'll get it into you in the next day or two. Uh, then we've got Scott in Illinois, and this guitar is, uh, we were just talking about it as we were setting up to do the video. Uh, one, another one of those ones that kind of surprised me, when I go through our builder, um, there's so many different color combinations, it's hard to ever build the same thing twice. And uh, I don't think I would have chosen uh, black, uh, black quilted maple with a vam uh, vibrant, blue back and sides, but I think it's a great choice. Um, and that's, it's just uh, a matter of finding that right combination. Um, I think it's, uh, it's just a, a really good contrast. Um, I really, really like how it works. And then I think the perfect choice was the, um, the Silver Harbor. There's just something about it. It, uh, it just pops, it's a very sharp guitar. The silver dots on the fretboard just blend nicely with that. Yeah, I think that looks lovely. So, uh, it's a nice, good eye, Scott. Um, definitely like that guitar. Then Paul in Massachusetts. Paul has gone for the X10. And uh, it's an X10 with Harborica. So Harborica has that really nice contrast. And uh, Harborica goes perfectly with black carbon. And uh, that has, is what he's chosen on the back and sides. Gold hardware, also another nice choice and uh, just he requested just the, the uh, little figure eight uh, Celtic knot on the 12th fret. So um, nice combinations there. I think the, it all balances really well together. Uh, it's got the, the dual pickup system in here. So it's uh, uh, got the uh, Crevo humbucker and the piezo, ghost piezos, two volume controls to blend between them. Um, so really versatile pickup system, but uh, the very discreet controls here and uh, very user friendly and uh, then you've got your mono or stereo output in the bottom so uh, good choice Paul 
Kurt in Missouri. Kurt has also gone for an X10. And uh, so this is the slightly different pickup system on this one. Um, so you've got the same combination of pickups here, but you've also got uh, the MIDI connectivity as well. So it's just got that extra control. Uh, and then this one has the side mounted controls here. Um, so just a, a different direction in terms of controls. Um, this is a, a beautiful piece of redwood burl with uh, some amazing pattern. And uh, redwood burl that we have at the moment, has, we've got some very, very unique pieces. Um, it's, uh, it's like a kaleidoscope, just all the patterns that's on here. Uh, this beautiful pattern that frames just right nicely between the pickup and the bridge. I think it's very nicely positioned and, uh, and just so much detail going on on that top. Uh, the, um, the inlays are the gold rings, which I think look excellent on there, and, uh, and black carbon back and sides. Okay, so Alan in Australia. Alan's gone for X20 and uh, another beautiful X20 finished in red carbon, red carbon back and sides, gold hardware, and then the, the gold vines with leaves, and uh, I think that just really sets off on the fretboard. So uh, gold with red hardware, or sorry, red with gold hardware is not something we see all that common, but I think it works really nicely. We're actually seeing a lot of people choosing more uh, colored hardware, it had been, Nearly all, if you had looked at this rack back, uh, I guess six months ago, you were gonna see almost all black hardware. Uh, now, as you can see, we've got, uh, we've got three gold and uh, two chrome on this week. So it's nice to see that, but a um, variation on there as well. So then Dan in Illinois, uh, Dan's gone for an X20. And uh, this is a beautiful purple X20. Look at that purple quilt of maple. It really is quite something. And, uh, and that's something we've just recently added to the, the 3D Builder. And uh, I think it's a great addition to what we're doing. Um, this one has a, uh, a narrower nut width. So uh, he selected the 43.5 mil nut. Um, so just a slightly slimmer profile neck the whole way down. And uh, also the, it's custom radius on this one as well. So it's a 12 to 14 compound radius. Um, so it's a little bit more, I guess the neck on this is pretty much like on the virtual and uh, or the X10 slimline. So uh, yeah, purple back and sides, uh, the vibrant purple. That's, that's a sharp looking guitar. Then Ryan in Iowa. So beautiful coca bolo and um, really nice piece of coca bolo. That beautiful piece of the, uh, the sapwood running down the, the center and uh, just nicely. I really like how it's got this little hourglass kind of thing going on here down at the bottom. Um, just very nicely positioned and uh, I think it looks lovely. So the lovely grain lines that you get in Coco Bolo and we found this wood very very hard to find recently uh, but uh, hopefully I can find some more again sometime soon and, uh, and offer it on the builder. Um, got the white inlays and uh, we've been talking just in the past week about how white just looks so sharp against our guitars. Uh, it contrasts quite well with the, the black fretboard and I think it just stands out. So, you know, if you're looking for something that has more, um, more of a, a contrast and stands out on a fretboard, the, the white inlays are actually a really nice option. Amber back and sides, always a good choice with Coco Bolo. I think probably 95% of the Coco Bolo guitars we've ever done have the, the amber back and sides. And uh, I think amber on the, on the black carbon maybe even works better. Than, uh, than a vibrant with Coco Bolo, just because it's a, a darker wood. Now here's another one that really caught my eye today. Um, fantastic X30. So this X30 uh, in teal is, uh, is actually, this is Pommel Boss. So at first glance, you might look at that and think that's a quilted maple, but um, it's a new veneer that I had never used before called Pommel Boss. We haven't used it too much. Um, I'm actually building a custom one myself at the moment in Pommel Boss to take with me on the, the road trip to uh, California in a couple of weeks time. But uh, it's just got beautiful char characteristics, beautiful quilting. Um, I say it looks very similar to Quilted Maple, has that same kind of holographic 3D effect, but with, uh, with some kind of, just a it's a different kind of thing. It's hard to even describe what's different about it. I think it's just more, 
Um, yeah, maybe just a little bit tighter and, uh, and more flowing than, uh, than the Quilted Maple. But when I look down on this now, I could swear that it's, it's, it's not, um, not flat. It really looks three-dimensional to me, to my eye right now. It's actually kind of mesmerizing. Um, but beautiful neck color, really looks like the ocean and uh, a vibrant teal back and sides and uh, gold hardware and uh, and this has been a, a custom 24.5 inch scale neck as well so it's been a shortened uh shortened scale and um yeah everything about that i really like so uh and that one's going to christina in toronto then we've got ferdinand in austria and here's a great one to, to finish this row off oh actually we've got one more on the floor um, black quilted maple on an X3012 string and we've been doing more and more X3012 strings if you've been watching the shipping videos uh, you'll see that the, the X3012 string has become very popular and uh, I think we're nearly doing as many X3012 strings as we were with the, the X2012 that, uh, that was sort of the origins of our 12 strings um, black quilted maple with chrome hardware I think that's a good choice and uh and black carbon back and sides uh it's also got the high vibe pickup system and uh, the high vibe has been really really popular um i think almost was singly the most popular pickup choice last month in our sales um so uh yeah that says a lot uh, everybody that's getting it seems to love it and uh, it just works so well um yeah what a fantastic guitar look at those knots the Celtic knots I think just goes perfectly with the the, uh, the black quilted maple. Um, I love seeing guitars like that going out. Now look at this. Now, that's not a bad one to finish on. So uh, so this one is going out to Doug in Florida. Uh, another one of our Solace guitars, uh, our lap steel, uh, Weisenborn style guitars. This one finished. Beautiful, beautiful piece of Royal Ebony. Um, really amazing uh, Royal Ebony. Great contrast and detail in it. Uh, nice quilting down here. The patterns running down in the center, um, along with that fretboard and uh, beautiful fretboard with the, the gold um, Celtic vines running down there, and that vibrant back and sides. Just so intense. What a beautiful instrument. So, uh, so that's a really nice piece to, to finish off with um, on those guitars. So then we've got another one. There's another Solace that's just gone out. So this one went out to Andrew and uh, this was an Indian Rosewood uh, with, uh, with um, this is on a clear, but I think it was probably an amber back and sides in that. So, uh, but yeah, really nice piece of Indian Rosewood there. Almost looks like Coca Bolo, but uh, it's very, very similar. Uh, Gavin in Michigan, uh, another Indian rosewood, but this one's on a virtual and uh, amber back and sides. Then Stanley in uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, another one of our amicus, and uh, this is our quilted maple uh, with a natural top. Daniel in New Jersey, uh, virtual black carbon. Uh, Holden in North Carolina, a virtual with uh, red carbon. Then Kenneth, uh, Kenneth in Canada, uh, another amicus. So I guess that's is that four amicus this week, um, with uh, black quilted maple. And uh, Brad in California, uh, virtual with uh, red carbon. Edward in Australia, uh, another amicus here with uh, green carbon. Bonofacio, I think it is, uh, in Hawaii, uh, virtual with uh, blue vibrant weave. Jonathan in Missouri, um, X20 Green in Harborica. Uh, Michael in Missouri, um, X20 Blue Quilted Maple. Then we've got Cindy in California, and uh, this is one of her beautiful pieces of redwood burl. We were talking earlier about the, the redwood burl with the, the great detail, and uh, this is a nice example of it in this X10. Then Cynthia in Florida, uh, an X712 string with uh, Candy Stripe Paduk. And, uh, and red back and sides. Then we've got Glade in Arizona, and uh, we've got Candy Stripe Paduk um, on a virtual. Then the last one is Joel in Minnesota, 
and uh, this X20 finishing Harbour Eka and uh, with clear carbon back and sides. So, uh, so great selection of guitars going out this week and, uh, and thanks, for, um, thanks for watching, thanks for bearing with me and uh, you know sometimes I feel like I'm going on long in, uh, in describing all these guitars but uh, I think the feedback is that you enjoy um, just hearing all the specifications and that and as always if you have any questions send them in and uh, we'll try and get the guys to, to get those questions to me um, or we'll answer them just in the, in the, the video uh, or in the comments so uh, if you haven't already please like and subscribe connect and see all our content and uh, we'll see you again next week